Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna install the Firehound ROM for the Mi A1, which is based on Android 8.1. So this is the first time this ROM is being covered on my channel. So even I'm not aware how it looks, what the features are. So you and me, yeah, both of us. We'll look that look at that together. And while we do that, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads. And if you want something nice, here's a card to the latest giveaway of the Redmi Note 5 Pro. Once we hit 10,000 subscribers, one of you will win that phone. And if you like motorbikes and you like speed and travel destinations are your thing, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and watch the videos on that one too. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kailash. Let's begin. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Another day, another install and preview video for the Xiaomi Mi A1. Now, as you know, shocked as you are, I'm equally shocked with the amount of support and the number of custom ROMs this guy has. And it's really, really brilliant to see the amount of following and development this guy has. So yeah, we will be flashing a lot of ROMs and today is one of those days we are looking at Firehound. Now, this is a first for smartphone tutorials. I've never tried this on any device, so why not? let's get started with it and keep this video short so that you don't get bored and we'll just install it quickly have a first look at it if there is anything that makes this ROM stand out and again yes it is based on Android 8.1 I won't be flashing Google Apps and you need to have an unlocked bootloader TWRP 50% battery make sure your data is backed up and copy all the files in your phone's internal memory now with that out of the way let's go to wipe and swipe to factory reset and then Let's quickly go to install and locate Firehound ROM and swipe to confirm flash. So again, the usual stuff, the phone will take two to five minutes to flash. So please don't panic and be patient. There's nothing to watch which would be interesting here unless you want to read the logs or something. So maybe you can grab a cup of coffee while it flashes and then after this ROM is flashed, you can go ahead and choose to flash open Google Apps if you need Play Store and then you can reboot and enjoy this custom ROM. Let's wait for the ROM to be flashed and I'll get back to you once it is flashed. All right, looks like the ROM has been flashed. We will just go ahead and wipe cache in Dalvik and then reboot system. So the first boot, as I said, always, I don't know in how many videos, but yeah, the first boot will take less than two minutes. That is the standard time which it takes to boot up after flashing a custom ROM less than two minutes and on a stock ROM it takes up to five minutes let's wait for the boot animation and see how beautiful it is sometimes I feel I flash so many ROMs just to look at the beautiful boot animations yeah uh, okay something different but that's okay his eyes look to me like Groot from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Do you feel the same? I might sound stupid, but yeah, that's that's what I felt. So yeah, let's wait for the phone to boot up and let's quickly have a look at the features of this ROM. All right, looks like the ROM has booted up and let's see what are the apps that we have. Again, usual stuff like other apps. Uh, what is this, Essential? Is that Wallpapers? Welcome to Firehound, okay updates okay so they have a dedicated app so this is not just any ordinary rom um okay it, it, it's giving us the features of this rom yeah you know why not go through it we are glad to see you using our rom this is tutorial will help you getting started with a new essentials app begin by going to the next screen okay okay and it okay all right whatever happened there let's open it again don't crash on me this time please so you can check download and flash updates for official bills for firehound and check the change log to uh, firewalls download and apply exclusive firewalls to your home and lock screen so that's basically wallpapers 
uh, feeling lazy to download G apps, which is super as you manually flashing updating ROM. You can really easily download and flash them from within the app, which is good. Appreciate that fire round. Uh, downloads, uh, ROM updates and extras downloads by you can be found in the downloads. All right. And no more about this. Not really. Stay updated. All right. Thanks. Let's see how the app looks like. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff that you can do. Essentials is updated. So that is a good initiative. So let's get out of this. Let's see what camera they're using and uh, essentials keep stopping. Okay, I thought the camera closed there for me. Oh, Google camera again. Don't close on me, please. All right, you did. Good job there. Um, front cam works. Yes, it works. So yeah, basic things checked. VoiceOver LTE is active. So let's go ahead and check if it is working or not. Let's call up 198. Right, it is working. All right, so time to go to settings. There's nothing much here. Um, yeah, nothing different in the status bar either. Uh, let's go to about. It's 8.1 fire on version 1st of April. That's an old, old build, but nonetheless, uh, apart from the essentials app, I've not have much of a problem here. Uh, what are the customization options and what do they call it? Fire something? Do they have any ashes? There you go. Light your weed here. Okay. Sound serious. All right. Uh, status bar tuner, battery clock, traffic indicators, ticker, carrier label, battery bar, tiles, custom editors, miscellaneous, um, battery light enable. Okay. Notification light. So you have that customization as well. So that is what I like about installs and previews, guys. The reason I did it 10 days straight with 10 different ROMs is so that you guys can get, you know, a hint of how different each and every custom ROM is. And let me know in the comments section if this is really, really helping you because there are tons of ROMs out there. There are a ton of ROMs that come out every single day. And it's good to have a look at whatever new features they bring to us. Um, yeah, nothing unusual so far. Navbar tuner and stuff, UI, UX. So yeah, it is a good ROM. I will say that they have a good start. Firehound, I, I, it may be an old ROM, but you know, I've not tried it. But uh, yeah, the first look and uh, the feel is good as well. It is pretty, pretty smooth. I don't really see a problem for you guys to use this as a daily driver. So yeah, I would definitely recommend you to go ahead and give this ROM a try. There are a ton of customization options available. They have the Essentials app, which allows you to do a lot of things. So all in all, thumbs up to this guy. Use this ROM. The link is mentioned in the description. Let me know how did you find it. You liked it, disliked it. And as always, if there's anything you want me to include in my videos, which would further improve the content for you guys, I'm all ears, guys. Just let me know. I would love to do the improvements for you. But for now, until the next one, this is Kailash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. See you guys in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.